Hello, kia ora, g'day. I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube with your Australia-only weather forecast for the next week ahead, recorded on Wednesday the 29th of October. Let's have a look at the uh, latest satellite imagery and lightning maps. A lot of thunderstorms around Queensland over the last 24 hours or so. Certainly still plenty around the top end as we go into today, pushing up actually towards Darwin. One of the first kind of major thunderstorm outbreaks around the Darwin Catherine area. Some of that is shrinking though. Severe thunderstorm risk carries on today around Queensland and around New South Wales. There have been some thunderstorms. We've got some rain this morning as well, bringing a bit of relief to some of you. And there could still be some thunderstorms around today, but most of the energy is going to be up around Queensland. Also over in Western Australia, Australia, there is a cooler airflow coming in. A westerly change will come through and drop the temperatures, but ahead of it, hot northerlies pushing in to parts of South Australia where there is a fair bit of high pressure. I mean, it's centered here down near Tasmania, but there's sort of another area of high pressure smack bang over central parts of Australia. And that's all sort of helping to push away those showers further northwards and further eastwards around Australia. So let's have a look at the temperatures just like we did yesterday. In uh, you might notice the change here in Western Australia. Temperatures down as that westerly comes in, hot northerlies ahead of it all, and then a cooler or more refreshing westerly change behind it. Many other places are feeling the heat, but it's the southeast and the southwest, the two lower corners of Australia, where you've got these cooler airflows off the sea. This uh, over around New South Wales and the ACT. It's an easterly off the Tasman, dropping temperatures for those of you in the east. Uh, inland areas though of Queensland and much of Queensland still feeling the heat. So thunderstorms are around today, as we just uh, showed you. This is one o'clock this afternoon, Queensland time. Severe thunderstorm risk around a large portion of eastern parts of Queensland and up around the Great Dividing Range and the hinterland. So just keep an eye on the radar today and up to date with the Bureau uh, with any of their warnings that might be around as those severe thunderstorms carry on. And we just showed you the thunderstorms in the Northern Territory, some maybe into the Kimberley. Uh, some of those will bubble back up again as we go through this afternoon and into tonight. As we go to Thursday, you can still see some of the leftover thunderstorms up here around the top end and also a little bit there into the Kimberley and around the eastern side, the whole eastern side of Australia from you know, the far north of Queensland up towards Indonesia all the way down towards uh, Victoria, basically stops at the border of Victoria. You've got these showers around. Now, a lot of them may not add up to very much at the lower end of the key, but you could get a thunderstorm in there somewhere or a heavy downpour that breaks that. So today's a little bit of a messy day, or sorry, tomorrow I should say, going into Thursday from today, a little bit messy as it is around Western Australia and South Australia. Yes, a few showers, whether they add up to very much where you live, it's a different question because there are some very large dry areas. By Friday, high pressure still around South Australia. So we do have a few showers here and there, maybe some thundery weather, but we've got low pressure forming around New South Wales and Victoria. That could boost up the wind a little bit here and there, and also produce a higher risk of showers and thunderstorms. And you still see the blue parts here on the eastern side of Australia. Again, the chance of showers, maybe a heavy downpour with thunder, it's still in that risk zone as we go through Friday and the similar story around tropical areas, dry elsewhere, although those westerlies in the southwest corner of Western Australia continue on, not only on Friday, but into Saturday as well with the polar boundary coming very close to you. So you will feel the temperature down if you live in the southern half of Western Australia, at least in the coastal areas. You're gonna feel those temperatures down. Southerlies going right up to the Midwest. Got a few more thunderstorms still around parts of the Northern Territory and the Kimberley. And then again, Eastern parts of Australia still seeing showers and perhaps a much higher chance now of thunderstorms and those expanding a lot further and the risk of them being severe because a bit of low pressure here around New South Wales and just coming into the Queensland border. Got the tropical red boundary here being pulled down into it all and air flows sort of all in the mix coming through here with some very heavy downpours. So we think there could be widespread thunderstorms on Saturday around Queensland and New South Wales. Pretty quiet elsewhere, although the, the usual thunderstorms still remain around the Northern Territory and the Kimberley. And there will be showers obviously in the Southwest, perhaps not so much with a thunderstorm risk though. So this is the severe thunderstorm outlook for Saturday afternoon. The areas in red, that is all around here in Queensland and going down into parts of New South Wales. That goes into the likely to possibly severe category. And that's quite a widespread zone into populated areas. 
So just keep an eye on that going into the weekend. It could still move around a little bit, uh, but that is what we're expecting going into the afternoon and elsewhere. Uh, the thunderstorm risks don't really move from where they currently are today. Here is Sunday's setup. So thunderstorms going all the way from the top end and the Kimberley right through the Northern Territory and into South Australia. Bit of a messy setup here, but the tropical boundary drops into South Australia and just nearby that is the polar boundary coming on through. So convergence in the middle where everything gets kind of squashed up. You can get thunderstorms and heavy rain in that area. Drying out for much of New South Wales and Victoria, but we're still seeing showers and thunderstorms potentially severe on Sunday. Once again, in the southeast corner of Queensland and the eastern side, of New South Wales. I'm not just going to say the northeast because they could actually go much further southwards at this stage though most of the energy in the top half of the coastal parts of New South Wales. And let's go to Monday now of next week where things get a little interesting in the southeast because we've got a large low that is forecast to form. We're seeing this in various computer modeling and this large line of heavy rain may still move as we've seen in recent weeks when you get these lines of convergence with the heavy downpours but this is an area to keep an eye on because you've got the polar airflow coming in you've got a uh, hot tropical air in the northeast corner of new south wales so warm and cold mixing up could produce some heavy rain and thunderstorms uh, on monday so that's one to keep an eye on. As we go to Tuesday, still got low pressure around, still got the chance of rain and thunderstorms uh, and colder winds coming into the mix here. Sorry it's not animating on this map, uh, but what you're looking at for the Melbourne Cup could be a showery day that becomes colder as we go through the day. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Westerly winds, temperatures dropping around Melbourne for the Melbourne Cup. If you don't care about that in other areas, you've still got the chance of thunderstorms and showers for South Australia, Victoria, New South Wales, Queensland seeing much more widespread showers and thunderstorms as well, bringing more rain relief, maybe a little further inland areas than over the next couple of days, which are more coastal, and plenty of showers and thunderstorms for the Northern Territory, but pretty quiet and dry. I shouldn't say quiet, I should say dry, for Western Australia, but there is a large low spinning here as well, producing the next surge of spring-like weather. So two big lows on the map as we go through next week. So let's just quickly make sense of the rainfall. I've got two uh, seven-day rainfall maps from two different computer modeling. GFS, the American one, that's the one that we use the most in our videos for Australia. So you can see these pockets of heavy rain where you're talking about 100 millimeters potentially around the Sunshine Coast. Keep in mind that could move north or south by 50 k's over the coming days as that is all locked in. But you get the idea. Instability is around that eastern coastline and for South Australia and for Victoria with that big low coming in at the start of next week. So take a snapshot of that one and now we'll jump to the European modelling. It is similar but not quite as intense in some areas. But it does show maybe uh, more of the gold shading around the eastern side and again some heavy rain potential maybe 60 to 80 millimeters into parts of Victoria and South Australia but like I say don't lock that in just yet because there's still a bit of movement with that big large low and if it just moves around a wee bit the rain does as well so that's the latest thinking at the moment uh, we are seeing some changes in the tropical areas but we're still seeing the spring storms continue on and I would expect them to continue on for the month of November. Our next climate watch update for the month of November is out this Friday covering all of Australasia, New Zealand, Australia and the South Pacific to try and get a better idea as to what is going on as we head towards Christmas which is just around the corner now um, and summer as well. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again tomorrow Thursday with our next update.